Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9. So, uh, today, I have a plan for today, I've, I've not really been planning uh, episodes the past couple of days, but today, my plan is we are going to get ourselves some of the, I want to get all of the Dice of Fate, all of the things you can get from that. Oh, you're kidding. Put that back, there we go. Yes, so, um... I put my, my Wand of the Forest away, but... Wand of the Forest. This thing. Why did it not come out of my... That was... Okay, there it is. Weird. We are pretty pretty stacked now on, uh, on mana, as you can see. I'm doing pretty well over here and all of that. We are also... Doing uh, okay on mana still. Not amazing, but... Terra Steel, we're also doing pretty well. Um, Elementium, how are we doing on that? Not bad, not bad. Okie doke, so we've got like a decent amount of stuff now. We can start thinking about making the Gaia Guardian fight, or doing the Gaia Guardian fight. So, I'm going to have to look that up. I vaguely remember how to do it, but I, I'm not entirely sure. I know I have to use uh, Terra Steel to begin with. Mm. Ritual of Gaia, that's the badger. Yeah, there we go, so you do need a beacon. I, w I thought there was something to do with beacons, but I couldn't quite remember. So, first off, we do need these things right here, so the Gaia Pylons. So, Pylon. So I'm going to bookmark those and we are going to make a couple of these. Mana diamonds. Mana diamonds. Should be down here. Let's make 32. Not hurting for diamonds, so we're all good on that one. I'm really glad that we got rid of the magnetic on our... Or braces right here, so uh, otherwise that would have pulled it towards us. So we've got the mana diamonds. Now we can just make ourselves the mana pylons. One, two, three, four. I have no idea how many of these I can make. I can make all four. Brilliant. I did make a bunch of pixie dust at one point. So yeah, that's basically all we need. Uh, we do need terra steel, to be fair. But we're not hurting for terra steel, so that's all good. Uh, we need a beacon. Beacon, and I'm wondering, can I make a ATM star block beacon base? Because that would look kind of funny. Oh, I can. Sweet. Right, no idea where I'm going to do this. I am not really planning on doing it anywhere fancy. I might do it over here. Uh, by the way... Is this thing? Oh yeah, there's these flipping. Why is there so many skeletal horses about? Or just uh, just hovering around. It's really really weird. Uh yeah, I think the plan is I'm gonna chop down all these trees right here. I might have to get rid of this. Apologies for the person that set this up. Is it Ludic? I can't remember exactly who set this up. Let's have a look. What does it say on here? Uh, no idea. But Within here is, oh, they've got rid of the spawner already. Never mind, all good then. So I can just uh, get rid of that for now. Uh, where did that go? Oh, it's right there. I turned my magnet off, and it always confuses me when I don't have a magnet on. I'll be in like other series, and I'll be like, why the heck have I not got a magnet? What's he doing right now? Right, anyway, I'm gonna clear a little area out right here for my fight. Did I turn all of these into golden leaves? I think I did, you know. Did I do that or did somebody else do that? Because I do not remember turning these into golden leaves. Brilliant. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got a beacon up and running right now. I don't think I've ever really done a beacon. I mean, you have to do it for Britannia, so I've definitely done it before, but... I don't really know what you could do with them, if I'm honest. I know you can set, what, like... 
Yeah, if you go further down, you can add like more and more of these different things. But I don't, I don't really care if I'm honest about that because we're already pretty beastly. Uh, I just need to do one of these, and I think we're kind of ready to fight. Uh, maybe not ready. Let me have a look at my backpack. Have I got food? Got a lot of fish and chips right there. I might put this eternal steak. Uh, yeah, this is eternal steak. I'm gonna put in my. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in here for now, so we can get through some of the food that we've been given. So I want to eat this hamburger whenever I can, and then I'll start on the fish and chips. All good. Anyway, we're gonna have a little fight now, and it's gonna be loud as heck. So I apologize in advance. Okay, that's not how you do it. Shift right click. Okay. Super loud. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I might. I'm not gonna mute the music, but I'm gonna like change it so it's not as loud because it's super loud to begin with. What do I get this up to? Only 90 attack. Probably do something about that at some point. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, can I not see him? Uh, it's me, by the way, if you couldn't tell. That is me right there. Um, I'm not taking any... Okay, come on. There we are. I'm not taking any damage from... Like any of the things that he's using because of oh, mech suit. It's just a thing in it. He's going to start spawning stuff now. The Gaia Guardian. Uh, it's a little laggy. That is because we are on the server, right? So. Easy enough. Should have put a um, one of those gemstone torches down. In fact, I'm going to go do that now. Gemstone torch. All that does is it stops it from uh, making vengeance spirits from uh, evil. Yeah, evil craft. probably have told people that I'm doing this before I started doing it, just in case they weren't expecting the lag. This fight takes a little while, I will admit. Oh yeah, you're not allowed to fly either. Oh my god, this takes so long. What are people talking about in the chat? I just saw Patreon helps pay for the monthly fees of the server itself. Yeah. The server is super expensive, so the Patreon really helps out with that. I wouldn't mind paying it, like, all myself, if I'm honest. Because, uh, you know, I enjoy playing with you guys, but... My god, this music is, like, really drowning out the sound of my own voice to me. I don't know what... You know, like, in the King's Speech... Probably making me sound even worse, right? But come on, he done yet? There you go. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Bye. Right. Okay, there we go. Okay, turn shaders back on. It, I do have worse FPS with this, but still. Anyway, what do we get from that? I think we only got the Gaia Spirits. So what I'm thinking we do... Oh, we got our Gemstone Torch back. Because I think it must have exploded. But yeah, what I think we're going to do is we're instantly going to make ourselves some Gaia Ingots. And then we're going to go again. We could make the Flugel Tiara. That is super useful, by the way. If you are playing uh, all the mods 9 now and you have, you're not already at endgame, like if you're just starting it out, then why the heck have you watched... 119 episodes of <laughs> uh, no what I was going to say is try and get yourself a Flugel Tiara because really good for early game flight 
I'm looking for the. Oh, okay. They've added um, Gaia spirits to the uh, Dragon Soul. Interesting. Okay. I thought there was going to be the Gaia ingot. Gaia. Is, it, is there an A in Gaia? Gaia. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make two. And we're going to go again. So the second one. I might skip like a bunch of this, but the second one is just a tougher version of that fight. So, yeah, we're going to go again, and I'll probably be back straight after this, because super loud. You guys just saw it. I don't think there's much different. But yeah, anyway, I'll be back in a bit. Yeah, I just loot Pinyard on a, uh, a witch right there. Right, there we go. Just killed the uh, Gaia Guardian right there, and he gave us a bunch of stuff. This time it gave us a bunch more Gaia Spirits, so you can see where this is going, basically. You have to do this several times with several ingots. Uh, I already have another one in here, Gaia Spirit, but... That is a quest. Interesting. I forgot about quests, if I'm honest, but... Yeah, we got Runes of Autumn. We've got some stuff right there. Uh, so, the Will of Aram. This is why I like Britannia so much, all of the weird references that it has. So... Aram is a reference right there. In fact, all of the wills of. I don't know why there's so many. What the heck? Anyway, all of the wills of from Britannia are the Barrows brothers from RuneScape. And if you've been with the channel for a while, you'll know I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to RuneScape. Love a bit of RuneScape, I do. I have a uh, maxed uh, RuneScape 3 character, which is kind of fun to have although it's not maxed anymore because it added a new uh skill at one point anyway right dice of fate this is what i wanted to open oh yes key of king's law i love this i don't know if it's go oh i've got my function buttons on there we go i don't know if it's going to let me do it because i don't have any mana on me no it doesn't look like it let's go over here i need a mana tablet all of these are full, full up, by the way, right now. Oh, no, never mind. Did that happen over here? I have no idea. Anyway, I am going to set this one over here to be the other way around. Turn my magnet off. Wait a little bit. Pick that up. Like, it hasn't got much mana in there, but that's fine. If we go back over to our little area, we should probably um, should probably load these, right? Chunk clean them at least. So now we can nick our stuff. I just realised there was some uh, ATM star blocks right there. New player pops along. is like, oh, I can take those. Because it's not claimed, right? But anyway. What the, uh, the key of King's Law does is, if we do that... And I'm going to go into this mode. We got all of these daggers and stuff. And then if we look over there. How cool is that? <laughs> that is the attack, I think, from... Uh, uh, what's this? Gilgamesh? No. Yeah, I think it's Gilgamesh, the, the one from Fate Zero, which is an anime. So all the references, that's why I love Britannia so much, all the references, right? Uh, I might actually change my uh, my cosmetic armor that I've got on. I've had this since like nearly the beginning of the pack, right? I might change it out so we have uh, some Terra Steel armor. Yeah, why not? How do we do that? Okie dokie. So we need mana steel to begin with, which is fine. We can do that. I think we've got enough for that. Mana steel. Everything right there. Ah, it's going to come down to uh, what runes we have. Winter. Apparently I have some winter runes. Interesting. There's autumn. I literally just got autumn. 
That is summer, but it doesn't matter because we can craft some. And the last one is spring. Okay, so that's like all of the different... Oh, cool. It is going. I was going to say, is that is that broken? But no, it's just quiet for some reason. <laughs> Sweet. So I need to wait for these to finish, and then I might swap out my armor. I might not. I just want to see how it looks in comparison. So if you were wondering of what you're going to get from these uh, Batania chance cube thingies, well, it's right here. You can get this apple thing, which you can eat it, if you've got mana, and it'll basically convert the mana into like food for you to eat, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's the Ring of Odin, which gives you another bar of hearts. So a load of people just like rush this if they can, because it's really good, right? You get more hearts, you basically get like another life out of it. It's pretty good. You get the Ring of Loki, which is weird. It just it's like a, a copy paste that like you can copy and then replace stuff it's a weird weird ring i do kind of want to find a use for it though at some point but yeah there's the ring of thor which i've completely forgotten what the ring of thor does if i'm honest it's meant to do a lightning surely I'm not sure there's this be rewarded with the eye of the flugel i think the eye of the flugel is that the one where I think it's like a, a never-ending ender pearl, so you can keep throwing it forever, from what I remember. I'm, I'm, we're going to get all of these anyway, so we can test them out. And then we can get the pinkinator, which turns a wither pink. Which was quite fun in some packs. There's a pack out there that... Um, I think they changed it, so you could only get pink slime from a pink wither. So you had to complete all of Britannia first. I really like when they do that. When packs like come up with stuff like that, I find it fun. Anyway, let's do uh, this, and then uh, I think the last one is there. How do we look? I kind of want to take off these... No, where, where is it? The cloud thing? Yeah. Plus one attack damage. I don't really need these. I'm going to take them off for now. We can always put them back on later. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, how do I do this? Cosmetic, take this off. So, the what, what does... Critical hits apply weakness. Okay. <laughs> but now we've got this, like, weird little flamey thing in front of our face. Anyway, we're supposed to be Cell from uh, Dragon Ball Z. Another little reference for you. How cool is that? I might keep this. Might keep this on. I really like this armor from uh, Cataclysm though. I've been using it in like all of my thumbnails, right? So, oh, it's a tough one. I'll tell you what, I'll leave it on for this episode. I'll put this in my backpack and then we'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. If you want to see me in a different one, then yeah, let me know. Um, there's also this, the amulet, spectral eye amulet. So someone did give me this. And as you can see, it just lets you like look at stuff. It has a little line around them. Uh, I don't think we need this, but I don't know. A load of people gave me this, so I might as well use it. What the heck is that? Right there, what B is this? Stellarite B. Stellarite B. Did I not put the Stellarite B back in its cage? Back in its, um, not cage. You know what I mean. Cage. Um, I may have, like, brought it out here for a thumbnail. And then forgot about it. So that would be very embarrassing if that's the case. Um, <laughs> let's have a look. Where did I put this? I think it's this one, right? Stellarite. Oh, I'm an idiot. There you go. I was wondering why we weren't getting... I was like, wow, this is a really small chance right here to get the Stellar Eterna. No, it's because I just didn't have that. Anyway, let me know if uh, you guys want me to 
use the spectral eye because a couple of people have suggested it now and I do have one it's just I prefer not to have it because otherwise it clutters the screen right in my opinion anyway I am a hundred percent stalling right now because I just can't be asked to do all of these uh, Gaia spirit fights the good news is um, if I do this we can have a look right there the good news is right here one, two, three, four, five, six. I only need to do six more. Oh, six more. That is a lot. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do six more fights. This might take me a while. I might turn the sound off and go watch something whilst I do it. Because it will take a little bit, bit of time, right? Uh, I'm not even going to go and bother, like, powering this up even more. Because I could power it up to, like, 400 or something and get more hits in. I don't think it's worth the time. Anyway, I will be right back. <laughs> right, I am putting the sound back up. Because... Oh, he's moved over here. There we go. Oh, look at that. That last one, I even got the pink in here from it. Amazing. That last one got us all of this stuff right here. How cool is that? How many wills did I get? Will... Uh, okay, I've got a load of dupes. That's annoying. So, uh, maybe I didn't. Let's have a look. Let's see which ones we got right here. Oh, first middle click of the day. So we got Darok twice. If you've got low HP, then you uh, you like can one hit stuff. It's awesome. Guthins that can that's life steal basically. This one is critical hits apply with her. And then we got three carols. We got two Darok, one Guthins, and then three carols. This is so weird. Anyway, uh, we got everything, I think. Because I can't remember if all the dice, like if, it, if it's a thing that you get all the stuff from the dice. Let me turn my shaders back on now that we don't have to that and we can fly again well oh, brilliant right let's open up these dice i might actually call this loot from because that's like a real runescape thing like in runescape it's like loot from a thousand hours killing this um creature uh yeah in minecraft i'm gonna do loot from how many did we already open open one two three four five six seven seven dice of fate so there we go. That is the Odin ring. Oh, amazing. We are going to wear that. I'm going to put that right, yeah, right there. And there you go. I'm getting more hearts. Love it. That is the Loki ring. Now, I'll look into that one later. That one is for the fruit. There you go. There's the flugel eye. How do you do this? I actually don't know what this one does. Minecraft Overworld. Do you just hold it and then it'll TP me over there? Or is it you shift and then use it? Is it a TP? I, I have no idea how this works. Ah, it might need mana as well, which we don't have on us right now. Anyway, there is the Ring of Thor. Oh, you need this for something to do with the Terra Shatterer. And then the last one just gave us some mana diamonds and stuff because I did too many apparently. Oh, because I counted the pinkinator as something. Right. Let me, uh, ooh, not that one, this one. There you go. Sweet. I might actually go get a wither. I could get a wither, put it in the stasis chamber. And then we can have it on display. I like that idea. <gasps> Wait. I could capture the wither, the pink wither, and put it in a jar. Oh, and we could do the thing that people have been doing recently where you uh, you use shrink before you capture it, and then it's really big in the jar. Okay, we're doing that. Right. Sorry, this is a real massive tangent, but I, I, really, I really fancy doing this for some reason. So, I thought I had the capturing thing out here. Maybe not. All right, I'll get the ritual work in. Ah, oh, these still still hurt looking at these. 
cry. Anyway, uh, I'll get the ritual working and then uh, we'll be right back. Right, I am back over at the uh, the beach that we've got. Are you just gonna explode or can I can I just do this? Hey! And I'm gonna get my shrink device. I think that's in my in my backpack. And then what you do is you go eh? No, nope, not that one. That one. Stick it all the way up at ten. Big. And then punch. And that is a big flipping thing right there. And then all I need is a, a yoink. Yoinker. I should have enough experience to do this. There we go. Pink wither. And now if I go over here, I've got a containment jar. Apparently this is quite big. I probably shouldn't do it this big, but I just want to see what it looks like. We can always make a different one. Containment jar goes down. Activate. There we go. So I, I thought it didn't have the particles, but it does now. So now I can place this down. And hopefully, are we going to get contained? Is that how this works? Okay, it's, it's gone all the way over here. Wait, am I? I was on the wither. The heck? Okay, we've got the <laughs> we got this again. Let's try it again. Uh, maybe I dig down a little bit. Right over here. Sure, and then place place the wither, please. And it's captured. At this point, I realized that the clear lag was just about to run. And it ran and deleted my pink wither. So we did get another one. Uh, I did have to cheat it in. But yeah, I thought I'd just mention that. Right, there we go. We've got another one of these. Let's try and pick this up. And now we've got it in our bar. And if I do this, you can see we've got the pinkinator. Pinkinator pink. Whatever you call it. Pink wither. That just looks so goofy. I love it. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh, right. We should probably... Oh, I need to put this somewhere. I mean, we could put it down over here. That might be it. Just going to stick it here for now. There we go. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take a thumbnail and everything and call it a day, I think. We might uh, call it there with Britannia. I don't know. Let me know if you want to see any like anything automated with Britannia. Or anything at all with Britannia. Because I do love this mod. And it would be cool to get into. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.